hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be connecting our game to a server okay so first of all what we're gonna do in this scenes folder as you know that we have this sample scene so what i want you to do is to simply rename this now to game or you can uh, name this as level one or map one or anything you want but i will just rename this to game then on the scene menu what we're gonna do we will create a new I mean in the scenes folder we're gonna create a new scene okay so where it is right here scene let's uh, name this as menu for example and let's open this up so when you open this right here we will be creating a canvas okay and right here in the UI scale mode we're gonna change this to scale with scene uh, screen size and we can change this to 920 by 1080 let's make the match bar as 0.5 now let's change to 2 remote double click on canvas here it is okay after this we're gonna click on the game then scripts folder and in here let's create another folder by the name of multiplayer scripts okay and in here we're gonna create a new c sharp script by the name of launcher then click on the canvas and drag and drop this script right here okay let me move it to the top and now let's open this up okay let me close the other scripts for now okay so in here now let's go ahead and connect our game to a server so first of all as you know that we are now using a photon pun so at the top make sure that you add the photon pun library and then we're gonna change our uh, class from mono behavior to mono behavior pun callbacks and what this uh, class will do it will uh, provide a dot photon view and all callbacks or events that pun can call okay so for example now we can call uh, the uh, methods or events if you say to connect to our uh, server okay so that is the reason we are now using this class so first of all in the start method what we're gonna do we will say put on network dot connect using settings okay so you will be thinking where this uh, method come from as i told you this come from this mono behavior pun callbacks okay that is the reason why we uh, put that there so that we can use the pun uh, default methods okay to connect to a server so now what this connect using settings will do it will connect our game using the settings okay to a server okay so for that if you click on resources and then this uh, photon file which it created when we connect it to our app id okay you can maximize this and in here as you can see you can uh, also add a server so for example if you want the game to be only available to the players in asia or uh, some other area okay for example american server or something like that then you can just simply type that uh, server name okay and for the us i think is a, it is uh, usd or something like that okay so if you want you can do that and what that method connect using setting will do it will connect our game using this setting okay and also if you don't provide any server uh, in that settings then it will automatically get a closer closest server okay for example i am in pakistan so it will select the asia server okay so once you do this 
after this we want to uh, connect to a server okay so we will say public override void on connect to actually connected to master okay we want to connect to a master client server so this method will do that okay it will connect us to a master client server so right here we will show some message in the console so that we know that yes now we are connected to a master uh, server okay and after this we can create another method it will be also a public override void okay and this will be by the name of on joined lobby okay and using this uh, method we will connect our player to our lobby so for now we can just simply uh, print a message that joined lobby okay so once it is connected to a server after that we're going to connect it to a lobby okay and now we can call this on join lobby method right here okay we can now save this and before going back make sure that the o in the on is capital all right now if you click on the canvas the script is already attached as well now if you click on console and let's start the game you will notice now that when the game start okay as you can see it is now showing connected to master and then joined lobby okay we actually need to print one other message which will be right here in the start and that will be connecting to master okay now if you go ahead and play it again as you can see it is showing connecting to master now when it is connected to a master it will show that and then join lobby okay so now we are connecting our game to a server and in the next video we're going to continue our work on our multiplayer system